Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and upgrade to Windows 11. So let's say you're on Windows 10 or a previous version of Windows, this should help you out. There are a couple of things that you need to know first. Number one, you need to check your computer specs to make sure that it's able to run Windows 11. More than likely it is, unless you have a, an archaic machine uh, or a computer from, I mean, a decade ago. It, it should work and you can very easily see uh, what specifications are needed for Windows 11 by going to this site here and then going to Windows OS and then go to Windows 11 and then you can see here Windows 11 specs and requirements and if we click on that, it'll actually show you exactly everything you need right here under system requirements to upgrade to Windows 11. Now that's just the first hurdle, right? Secondly, you have to make sure that your computer is up to date and ready to go. So what we need to do is click on the Windows icon in the lower left hand corner, the start menu, and then go to our settings by clicking on the gear icon. Now once we're here, go to updates and security. And then once under updates and security, you will see something that says Windows update, check for updates. You need to make sure that you have all of the prerequisite upgrades or you know things that need to be upgraded from your current OS. So for me, it's Windows 10 uh, and I have done that. I have the green check mark here. Now, there's something that'll come up here and says this PC does not currently meet all of the system requirements for Windows 11. Uh, get a PC health check. Now, I know that it does meet these requirements because I've downloaded the PC health checker right here and I'll show you how to do that now. If we go and click on this link, get PC health check, you'll see that it'll take us to a link here where we can download the PC health check app. Now, when we do that, go ahead and open that app. And then what you'll want to do is go to check now when you open that app and it says introducing Windows 11, click the blue check now button. And then you'll see this PC meets all the requirements. Or if there is a red X here, it'll show you exactly what needs to be done. Now, for my case, in my instance, I needed to enable TPM 2.0. So that may be an error that you're getting. Uh, a huge shout out to Jamie Wagner here on YouTube. I will link his video down below uh, to showing you exactly how to fix that problem. Now, I think that's why if we go back to our settings here, I think that's why it still shows this PC doesn't currently meet all of the system requirements. So there is a way around this, a couple of ways actually. So let's hop back over to our web browser here and go to this little page here. I will link this as well where you can download the Windows 11 installation assistant as well as the Windows 11 installation ISO file. Now, the easier route here is to download the installation assistant, which is the route that I'm going. The other route is to download an ISO, which is more manual. You would need to download this onto a USB stick or a flash drive and then insert that and then boot off of that drive and then download and install directly from that drive. Much more manual, much more user intensive. The easiest way to go about doing this is going to Windows 11 installation assistant, downloading that. And then as you can see here, I have the Windows 11 installation assistant available here. Now, go through all of the process here. So you'll want to accept and install. And then as you can see here, it will begin to process that and install and download Windows 11 for your PC. So again, a couple of things, make sure you have your PC backed up. Make sure you go to your updates and settings and make sure that you are up to date on your PC. And then also make sure that you meet the requirements over on the Windows requirements and specs for Windows 11. Go through either the uh, option here to just go and, and hit, you know, install now if that option comes available to you here or go to the installation assistant on the Windows website or download the ISO like I mentioned before. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then show you what that looks like on the other side. All right, and once the Windows 11 installation assistant is done, it will say your PC needs to restart to install Windows 11, and then it gives you a 30 minute buffer time. So if you wanna go ahead and do that now, go ahead and click the restart now button, as you see here on the prompt. And then once it's restarted, it should install Windows 11 and you should be good to go. All right, guys, I'll see you on the other side. All right, and the installation is done. It took around 10 to 15 minutes to fully restart and install. And as you can see, if we zoom in here, our Windows specifications are Edition Windows 11 Pro. So remember, make sure you back up, make sure you check your PC, and don't forget to check out Jamie Wagner's video if you are having a problem in regards to 
enabling TPM 2.0 on Windows 10 or prior, uh, I do believe that video would more than definitely help you guys out. If you have any questions about how to handle your Windows 11 upgrade and install, please put those in the comments section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.